This is how I stopped wasting time on unread email. I built an AI workflow in N8N that reads them, summarizes them, and sends me one daily digest. All automated, no code, one email. Let me show you how to build it. So first you will have to create a new workflow. Just give it any name. I did email digest here. And then let's start by adding the first step, which will be our schedule trigger. So look for schedule here. And then keep the trigger interval as it is the days between triggers as it is so one day and the trigger at hour it will be 8 a.m because i start my day at 8 a.m now save it we will move on to the next note so we will have to fetch the current date and the date of yesterday so we'll be able to map it inside the filter in the gmail node so we'll start by looking for date and time node look for get current dates keep it as it is let's rename it here and then add another node of date and time. Look for subtract from a date. Run the previous nodes. So we will map the current date here, which will be the date to subtract from. And then in the duration, just subtract only one day. And keep it like it is. Let's rename it to yesterday. That way we'll be fetching emails between yesterday and today. Now we will have to fetch the email. So for that, we will need the Gmail node. Look for Gmail here. Add it. Look for get many messages. Here you will have to set up your credential. It will be easy. Just go here, click create new credential and then click on the sign in with Google button and sign in with your Google account. Keep this as it is. Here uh, it has a limit of 50. Make sure to turn off the simplify because in doing so we'll be able to retrieve all the details of the email. So the sender, the subject, the full content of it, etc. Now we will have to set up the filter. So click on add filter. Look for search. I copy and paste this. This will make sure that it only fetches emails from the prime inbox. So no promotions or uh, social media or whatever or notifications. Add another filter. Look for received after. We will have to execute the previous notes here, of course. For this, we will have to map the new date here, which is the yesterday's date. So it will be received after yesterday. And now we will have to add another filter, which will be the received before and would be received before today. So the current date. We will have to add another and last filter, which will be the red status, which will be unread emails only. Keep it as it is. We'll be good with that. Now save it. Okay, we will have a list of the emails, but we will need to turn them into a string that we can pass to our LLM later on. So we will click here, look for the code node. Keep this as it is. We will only change the code. So we will paste in this code. Feel free to pause the video and copy it if you want. This one will basically construct a string for us that has for each email, it will have the ID, the sender, the subject and the content of it. So if we test here, we will see that email one sender from this one. This is the content. Same thing goes for email number two, the sender, etc. That's good. And now we will have to include our AI agent, which will be summarizing the list of emails, all the content of the emails and given us one digest. So click this, look for advanced AI and then drag in the AI agent. OK, here we will have to choose define below. So we will have to map basically the user message, which will be the list of the emails that we received. So map it here. We will have to add a system message to tell the AI agent what to do with this content. So click on add system message. I have prepared a simple prompt for this. You can pause the video and copy it if you want or take a screenshot and pass it to ChatGPT to extract the text. So yeah, it is not a complicated prompt. I guess you can spend more time to design it and craft it however you want. So yeah, we have done that. Now we will have to choose the LLM that will be doing the job. So click on chat model, add chat model. You will have this list. I will be using the Google AI Studio, so Gemini 2.0 Flash. You can use OpenAI or whatever. We'll be going with this one. If you're going to use Google, so you will have to create a credential for that. So create new credential and then you will have to copy your API key. So copy it and then click save. That will be saved. All right. So this one will provide us with an output. And then I want the AI agent to send me an email containing the digest. So click here. Look for Gmail again. Look for send a message. This send to which will be my account. So Give it a subject, email type, let's put it text. And then for this, we will have to drag the output of the AI agent. For that, we'll have to test it. So 
my bad i forgot to choose the model so let's look for the gemini 2.0 flash so yeah and then let's test the step okay it gave us the output so let's take the output and then put it here i will be set to go this is the whole workflow so before we run guys only two percent of you who watch my videos are subscribed so please take this moment to subscribe and like the video and maybe comment any video idea or workflow idea you want me to create next so yeah let's test our workflow so we have it ready now it will fetch all the emails and then send me an email so let's click on test workflow all right so the workflow worked and here it is let's click here and we will see that we received our email so it gave me a breakdown the summary the actions everything so it gave me a summary of the emails that i received of course i have only two emails here which are basically promotions from uh, anthropic and uh, suno which is uh, another ai tool so uh, if you want better results you can work a bit more on the prompting so yeah this has been it guys for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and found it useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll be seeing you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.